some it's an addict here you're viewing one of the parts I'll have to put it up in the URL link at the top of what you're viewing I have forgotten I've done so many of these darn videos it's not even funny this is for you all for people that view me on Howard Forms that makes him the guy and you can watch the videos and hopefully get some not just not just for entertainment purposes, but to learn to teach you how to use the programs. But when you get URL Snooper up, that's what we were talking about to to basically summarize what we've gone through with all the parts up till now. We went to orb.com, downloaded the software, installed it, um, set up an account, we've gone to mycast.orb.com We've launched from the open application, we've launched into the audio, we've launched into the FM station, and we're adding links. We've already added links from radiolocator.com. I think that's in like part three. Uh, we've added links using the view paid source option, and now we're going to use the URL snooper to be a little more of a detective. They're basically saying, you know, do you want to? into a license. For right now, I don't. Can't. Okay. This is an old version. Very old. Okay, now maybe it isn't old. Okay, when it first starts up, you're going to go up to File and choose Advanced. Because you want to be able to choose and filter out different links. Right now, it's set to filter. Okay. This is also another thing. Um, there's an auto option. You just want to select whatever card you're using. So if you're using an Ethernet card, you're going to select your Ethernet card using wireless or select wireless. And you just basically set it up that way. You don't want it auto searching all the time. Okay, here's another good thing of, of wisdom shut down all windows that use the internet. If you don't, you're going to regret it because when you start sniffing, if those websites are sending information back and forth, you're going to get that. And it's going to really confuse you up. So you need to only have two windows open. Um, you can leave orb running, uh, but you need to have the radio station opened up and you are in the URL sniffer too. Um, I'll provide a, a link if I can find one to that. Uh, like I said, you'd have to uh, so Put in a key for it, but it's a free key. You don't have to pay for it. Okay, let's get uh, let's get WKDF back up here. I was using it because it's it's easy to pull up. Okay, now what you want to do is you'll want to pull up URL sniffer right up to it. Site. Don't start sniffing. Some sites you'll click listen live and it will bring you out into listening right then. This site you have to click this and then click another link to bring into it. So, good rule of thumb. Uh, if you click this, don't don't click sniff network until you click this and you verify that it will not take you to another page first. I'll show you. This takes you to another page that says listen live. But a lot will, you click this up here, and it will automatically take you into uh, the player. And the player is what you want to sniff out. So, you don't click that until you click this. And you want to filter out all the URLs first. Okay. You're going to go up here and you can choose Sniff Network. That's basically going to pull up all the URLs. You might have to authorize it in your firewall here. Okay. Now it's pulling up links that I'm pulling up already from different websites. I'm going to have websites over yet. And then you're simply going to click Listen Live. Wait till you hear the music playing. KDF, we are a proud sponsor. There we go. Music's playing already. Okay. Once the music starts playing, stop search. You don't want to keep the search going. Or you'll end up getting things you don't want. 
Now you can filter up multimedia, but as you see here, it's giving me an F. Because it's not the smartest thing to do. So let's go full screen here. Okay. Now you're going to see a whole bunch of listings. Now go up here to Keyword Filter and type in the radio station name WKDF. Look at these links. You can see them here. You're getting different links. And I apologize if you can't make anything out, but basically, this is the link you're after. But it's not going to be a kill if you get this link or this link. Or even that link. There's there's so many links around here. Um, and one thing you notice over here, all the links that say it say HTTP and just HTTP. All the others say reference get. That means it's actually referencing it to another page. It's giving the link and that sends it to another page yet again. And then once you find a link you want, you simply right click on it. Copy to clipboard. Well, once you've got the link, it's all the same as just doing the other stuff. You can take it back into Orb. You're gonna set up a new uh, channel. Let's get back over here. Add custom again. You can add the link in. It will. It may ask you to. Do you want to add the next? link, you click the, the second link, the first one might be a, still again, it might be an ad, you click the second link that it gives you, or the last bottom link, uh, it says add the original URL anyway, click yes, uh, verify the link plays, just like with all the others, verify it plays, if it plays, you're good to go, you're set up, then you can move over to your phone side of things, so, what have we learned so far? Close my computer here. Okay, what have we learned so far? We've learned that you can get URLs almost any way for your listening experience. Once you add these, most of them aren't going to change. Because most of the people don't want to go in and change it because people, you know, they may have bookmarked that site. And if they bookmark that site, it's going to change and it's going to mess people up. Some, sometimes they do change them around. Sometimes these links go dead. Sometimes the radio stations go dead. Uh, you just got to keep a, keep a watch on it. We're going to switch over to the cell phone side here in just a second here. And once we're over there, we'll simply show you how to log in and how to play it. It's, it's very simple once you go and sign in. Uh, you'll go to a specific portion, and we'll show you how to set it up there. That'll all be a one-parter because it doesn't have to be multi-part. But the settings will all be the same for every phone you get, whether you get. Uh, and let's, let's run it down. Let's run it down. So this is a quick video anyway. If you get the LG Voyager, the original, the um, the Dare, LG Dare, the LG Versa, the Motorola. Um, I'll have to put it up. It's it's the flip. Uh, touchscreen Motorola, I'm not for sure of the model. Um, I want to say it's like the Z9, but I don't believe that's it. Um, that's one of them that can support the streaming. Uh, the Glide cannot. So don't be fooled, don't think, I'll get the Glide and I'll listen to or You can't. You cannot. Uh, the, the best way to test it out, if you, if you want to find out, hey, does this phone work, will it stream? Go to HowardForms.com. Um, get you an account if you don't already have one. If you're doing this, you probably already have an account. The next same guy over there, anybody will be glad to help you over there. Give you the information you need to to get the streaming up and going. There's threads separately just for streaming. Uh, get it going. And then go into a Verizon store. Uh, I don't have any authorized stores in my area. Just little, like, uh, locally owned type stores. Uh, go into like a corporate store. 
and play with the phones, get them, you know, go to go to these websites. A lot of them are active. Go to the websites and just see if see get get a test account going and see if they'll play. See if the volume is loud enough to you suiting. If if that's going to be the primary function of the phone of what you're using it for, make sure the volume is loud enough. I've experienced that the Dare has a louder volume than the Voyager. Uh, the Versa may be a little louder than the Dare. Uh, the new NV Touch may be a little louder. Uh, the NV3 may be a little louder. I haven't had the chance to play with those two yet as far as streaming, but I'm going to soon. So just see if the, the volume quality, as I've experienced that uh, stereo speakers will not put out as much volume as a single mono speaker. Just, I guess, the way that's designed. Uh, so just test them out. Find out what phones, new phones are always going to keep coming out. PDA phones, in general, will support it. All PDA phones, you have to have PDA plan, $29.99. 